Hello, my name is Scott Hegley and I'm a sales manager for HIMS. Uh, we are a uh, manufacturer and distributor of products for blind and low vision users. Let me describe the book sense just uh, a little bit here for you. Uh, we originally came out with the standard and XT book sense book reader units. Um, they are specifically developed for someone who has no vision or maybe a little vision and wants to play back their favorite Daisy books from Bookshare or National Library Service for the Blind books or books from RFB&D um, or maybe just their favorite uh, MP3 files. Well, we just came out with another device and we call this the BookSense DS. DS happens to stand for display. Um, it's a very small unit. Um, it weighs uh, approximately half a well, probably a quarter of a pound. You know that it's it's very 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 light. Um, it has a built-in battery. Um, it has a um, OLED or OLED display. So for someone who wants to be able to read a book or a magazine with speech, but list but um, watch it on the display at the same time they can do so with the BookSense DS. Uh, I'm recording this in January of 2011. This has been out for approximately two weeks. Who is this device for? This device is for anyone who is blind or who has a learning disability. Maybe if you are unable to read the printed page or read it well. This is a very small device that will fit in your purse or your pocket and it allows access to thousands and thousands of recorded material, text material, uh, and MP3 formats. What's exciting about this device is you can go to an, a place such as Bookshare.org, a place where there are many, 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 many thousands of books available. Load them either onto the unit itself, the unit has four gigs of internal memory, or Place it on the SD card, which is located right here in the, on the right side of the unit, and start reading. So what I'm going to do is give you a quick tour of the unit itself. At the top we have the OLED display. We have three buttons on the top. Those are your, your menu buttons as well as your arrow keys. Below that you have a play pause. You have a record button and you have a change format button. On the right side is the button that gives you the time and date. So when you press this button, 8 to 48 a.m. and 30 seconds Saturday, January 29, 2011. So that is the speech uh, engine. There's two speeches available. There's a male voice, so I'm going to press the 5 and hold it down for a little bit. Male voice. And we'll check the time and date again. 8.48 a.m. and 46 seconds, Saturday, January 29th, 2011. This is a very, very, very clear speech engine, as you can hear. So if you were to take, let's say you were going to take a text file and read it, it would sound just like you heard the date and time sound. If you were going to take a web page and have the BookSense DS read it, you would hear it as clear as a bell, or even a Bookshare book because Bookshare books are not read by human beings. They're text files and daisy files. This will read it in that type of voice. So I'm going to show you a couple examples of some of the um, formatting that this particular device will read because you're probably wondering, what can I use this for? Well, before I get into the, uh, the different types of books, let me remind you that if I press the record button, it is a very quality recorder that will record your lectures or phone numbers or anything else that you would actually need to record. Um, what I'm going to do now though is I'm going to press the right arrow button. Beginning or end of book. Sentence. Word. And what that is doing is it's changing how the book sense is going to jump through this particular document that I've got up on the screen. Character. So I can read by character. Phonetic. Phonetically. Search word. I can search for a word. Level one. I can move by level, which is basically like chapter. Level two. Level three. Level two and three would be subchapters. Phrase. Phrase. Paragraph. Paragraph. Heading. Heading and so forth. So I'm gonna I'm gonna press play. This happens to be a magazine. Actually, it's the newspaper.
from the Associated Press provided by the, uh, the NFB Newsline, the National Federation of the Blind Newsline. I simply plugged in my BookSense DS into my computer and it grabbed the latest newspapers. So I'm gonna press the play button and as I do so, hopefully you'll be able to watch on the screen and listen as it reads the newspaper to you. Its meaning cannot be discerned by looking to a literal translation. Martin F. Scheinman wrote in this decision. Rather, as with any I'm gonna go ahead and slow it down a little bit by pressing the four. Word is used. He said there was sufficient evidence to support school officials' argument that Garcia had lost composure and engaged in impermissible conduct for an educator. Okay, and I press the plays the play pause button. So that's the NFB Newsline. Let me show you what else is available on here. Associated Press National through update November 23rd, 2020. Associated Press National through update. Bookshare, one of four. Okay, I now went back to the main menu. You heard the word Bookshare, and I've talked a little bit about Bookshare and, and what it has available. Um, it is a great service if you are a student. It is free of charge as well, and there are thousands and thousands of books. Let me show you what else is available. NFB Newsline. And there's the NFB Newsline. NLS. The National Library Service for the Blind. Uh, talking books, you can download those and play them on your BookSense or BookSense DS. RFB&D. RFB D for those of you who are students. You can literally now grab your textbook online, download it, and read it with the BookSense DS. Document Reader. Document Reader. What does that mean? That means any text file I can put on to the BookSense DS and have it read and shown on the display. Let's press this button again. Radio. Radio. This has a full FM radio, which is now talking to us, or at least making noise to us. So if you're um, wanting to listen to your favorite radio station, you can do that with the FM radio. Let's push the button again. I'm now in the MP3 formats, and by default there are six types. There are audio, which is basically your, your recorded lectures. Miscellaneous audio, if you have uh, copies of movies. Um, anything that works uh, like that, you can put those in that folder. And music is my favorite. This has a very powerful music player. I can play my music. I can jump ahead by five seconds, by 30 seconds, by one minute. I can move to a specific spot in the MP3 file. And all of it is spoken and shown on the display of the BookSense DS. Podcasts, filter. And we all know what podcasts are. Those of you who do podcasting, you can put your podcasts on the DS and play them back. Or if you just want to grab a podcast, you can do that and play it on the BookSense DS. Radio. And radio, as we showed earlier, the radio works well. If you want to record your favorite radio station, it will be placed in this folder right here. And the record folder. If I press the record button, this is where all my recordings are placed. On the top is a lock button. If I press it straight up, it, uh, it now is locked. So the uh, the the keyboard and the display are locked. If I hold this button down, it will unlock, and then if I hold it down further, it will turn off and turn on the BookSense DS. And then these two little buttons on the side are the volume control. So it's very easy to use. Um, there is a place where you can plug in uh, a USB cord right here. So if I want to uh, move files from my computer onto the BookSense directly, I can do so. And of course, it has a mic jack and it has a headphone jack. So if you want privacy, you can plug in your headphones and no one knows what you're actually listening to. And I really appreciate you watching today and I hope you, uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to go to enablemart.com. That's E-N-A-B-L-E-M-A-R-T.com. Enablemart is a leading provider of assistive technology for just about any product that is available out in the uh, United States and Canada and beyond. And we invite you to go there and, uh, and find out what is available through Enablemart. Thank you.